Do you constantly call family and friends and wish there was an easier and faster way than to scroll through all your contacts and favorites? Well, let me tell you a shortcut. Today we're going to talk about direct contact, direct call, and direct messaging on Android. These should already be on your phone, so there's no need to install anything. So here is my home screen, and this is going to be a little bit different on each phone, but generally you want to tap and hold on a blank place on your home screen to get to the widgets. Here you want to scroll down until you get to the contact section, and right here there's going to be three different types of widgets. Contact, a direct call, and direct message. So let's try the first one. Drag and drop the contact widget where you want it on the home screen and once you let go, it's going to bring up your list of contacts. For this video, I'm going to select the access link contact. And once it's on your home screen and you tap on that, it's going to take you directly to that contacts page. This might be useful when a contact has multiple phone numbers or multiple emails and you want access to all of them. So now let's try the second one. So we'll have to tap and hold again on an empty spot in our home screen, go to widgets and um, scroll down until contacts. And the second one is direct call. And that is the one that I find most useful and that I use most often. And if you drag and drop that to where you want it on the home screen, it'll bring up your list of contacts again and I'm gonna use the same contact. But of course you can pick whatever contact you want. Once it's on your home screen and you tap it, it'll take you directly into a call with that contact. The third one is direct message. So let's go back to widgets and scroll down and under contacts is the third one and drag and drop that onto your home screen, pick a contact and once you have it on your home screen and you tap on that, it will take you to either an existing or create a new conversation with that contact. Yes, you could use Google Assistant, but sometimes it just doesn't understand. Or sometimes you're in a situation where you don't want to make a lot of noise, or maybe you're already on your phone and it will just be faster. Well, let me know in the comments below if you use this feature or if you're going to try it out. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos to help you live a more accessible life.